Hello everyone. Thank you very much for all the wishes. I reached safely. So this is my new video place which my father made it ready for me. Anyway, back to our topic. This is the pre-market report video for today, 8th August 2023 in the new stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. In the last pre-market video, we discussed why IT and Pharma suddenly turned to positive in detail. In addition, there are a couple of more. First, about Reliance Industries. On Sunday, they released the full year annual report in which I read half of the info and then decided to leave it out. Anyway, about that, they explained how demerging the Reliance Financial Entity will be very positive and how it can be value unlocking for the shareholders. Above all, they said by the end of 2024, they will start the battery production and annual AGM announcement made the Reliance positive. In case of IT, around near afternoon, Infosys CEO Salil Parekh made the announcement that at present their company employees near 40,000 people already trained in AI. And also he said their AI Topaz is combining the data analytics and artificial intelligence to develop over 12,000 potential use cases. In simple terms, all new AI revenue generating scheme which made not just Infosys, all the Indian IT sector to super bullish in the second half. Thus, Nifty closed positive for second consecutive day and near 19,600 mark. Sector-wise, 9 out of 13 major sectors ended in green with the pharma increased over 1.5% to a record high and IT increased over 1%. On the negative side, again because of SBI, PSE Bank lost 0.6%. Here, please note, I know SBI is very negative and the present momentum is not favored for them because of their quarterly results. But this quarterly results made the SBI as number one company in India in terms of profit as it beats the Reliance Industries. Anyway, among individual stocks, Arabindo Pharma increased over 3% to a near 2 year high after the US health regulator completed a pre-approval inspection at their formulation manufacturing facility. Whereas M&M climbed 4.25% due to their quarterly profit almost doubled. Despite all these positivity, yesterday for the 8th consecutive session, FIIs were net sellers, the net sold for near 1900 crore rupees. Whereas again to some extent DIA supported the market, the net bought for near 1080 crore rupees. Coming to US, before their market opening, Berkshire Hathaway reported a better than expected quarterly results driven by strong performance of its insurance companies. Thus, its share price was more than 3% higher, which in turn increases all the insurance stocks. In addition to that, some Google and Facebook clash share related service info. Here, I don't know what does it mean, but this made both Google and Facebook to increase over 2%. Because of this three big company positivity, all three major index in US opened to positive and closed more or less at the same place. So in the end of the day, Dow Jones increased by 1.16%, S&P funded up by 0.9% and Nasdaq too up similar level 0.61%. In case of FIX, it dropped near 8% and moved below 16 Coming to Indian ADR, all four major stock closed in line with the Indian market. There is no surprise there. About Gift Nifty, at 3 am Indian standard time, it closed at 19,681, equating it to our spot market. Again, similar to yesterday, it's indicating the flat to gap up opening of 30 points. So, that's all about the global market. Now, coming to stock specific news. First, about HDFC Bank. I know in Indian ADR in US market, HDFC Bank was not that much positive. But based upon my experience, sometimes market might react late. So I don't want to ignore this very important info. Yesterday in the aftermarket hours, Fitzay announced that in their emerging all cap index, they increased the HDFC bank weightage from 0.81% to 1.52%, which is really a very good news. Here they also gave a new timeline like first September index review, then the December index review, followed by April next year. So basically in three installment, they are going to implement this. Second, about the quarterly results, all four Tata Chemicals, Godrej Consumer Product, Torrent Pharma and Gland Pharma all delivered the subdued profit. I mean, none of them beat the unlist profit estimation. So, recommended to be cautious among these stocks. Third, regarding Pharma, WHO, World Health Organization, 
made a warning over the indian made cough syrup with more contaminated issue so this is clearly negative for those pharma company whose revenue mainly depend on those finally adani post is going to release their earnings today so quickly let me tell the preview i mean revenue wise analyst expected to increase 22% However, analysts predicted and expected that the profit to fell by 5.5%. As a summary, US market closed positive and global momentum turned really good, whereas Gift Nifty is indicating flat to positive opening of 30 points. However, there are some HDFC bank related positive news. So, will the bank join the rally? Let's see, it's a long due. Then, regarding the things to look out today, Coal India, Hindalco Industries, Adani Ports, Oil India, Siemens, Arthi Industries, EI Hotels and Happiest Men Technologies are the some companies that shall to release their earnings today. And in terms of macro, before our market opening, first during our market hours, Germany's July month inflation is due. Then in the night in US, their trade balance and EIS short term energy outlook are some of the items we need to look out today. Coming to technical, on daily chart, Nifty forms a short green candle with long lower shadow and short upper shadow with a higher high and higher low formation for the second consecutive session. Psychologically, sellers tried to take control of the market in the opening but buyers aggressively took control of it. The another very important positive is market closed decisively above the 20 day exponential moving average. So now for bullish scenario. If Nifty moves above and sustains above 90,700, then it means it breaches the bearish gap authoritatively. So this indicates an ultra bullish sentiment. Thus potentially Nifty might move towards 90,800 to 90,900. Then for bearish scenario, at present we can see the presence of corrective pullback. Fibonacci resistance is at 19,605. Nifty fails to sustain above 90,600 crucial levels. It might fall again to the support zone 19,400 to 90,380 and possibly even fall towards 90,100 from a short term perspective. So in conclusion, technically today we will likely witness a tug of war between bullish and bearish forces. The key level to watch will be the 19,760 to 90,700 resistance. So I think that will decide the trend. Then in case of Bank Nifty, it traded within the range of the previous session and closed in the red. Thus it forms a bearish candlestick and an inside bar pattern on the daily chart. This inside bar pattern now highlights that the crucial levels 45,150 and 44,500. So a breach of these levels in either direction will likely to lead to a corresponding move. So a clear break above the resistance of 45,100 and 45,200 closing above the bearish gap at 45,400 could lead to bullish momentum. However, the current momentum setup and bearish candlestick may hinder this moment. Moving on, based on options open interest, lot of new put options were added between 90,500 to 90,600 and at the same place some call options also had the unbound. And 19,500 is the maximum nearby put option open interest. So 19,500 is the support to look out for. Then about resistance, 20,000 got the maximum call option open interest. So that will be the strong resistance for the expiry. In addition, equally 90,700 is the immediate hurdle. Then in case of bank nifty, between 44,800 and 45,000, there are significant short straddle. So 44,500 is the support to look out for and 45,500 is the resistance to break. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video. So it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investigation based on this as I'm not a SEBI registered advisor. I'm doing this for my and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.